This oak tree was tiny when we moved here and look at it now. This is its first year of producing a proper crop of acorns. The birds love them and so do we. Same with our horse chestnut trees. After many years of patient growing, they now start making conquests. I love these beautifully smooth and shiny brown seeds. When I grew up, we were busy every autumn turning acorns and chestnuts into little figures and animals. I revived my old skills with one of my children's groups. But I also planted some seeds for more trees. One can never have enough trees. I'm quite excited that finally we have small woodlands to walk through on our land. This is our hazel and sweet chestnut grove. The sweet chestnuts try producing seeds, but most of them are empty shells. We are not sure whether this is the climate or a pollination problem or whether the trees are just still a bit too young. The elder bushes have a good crop of berries this year. The birds are happy. The tomato harvest is nearly over. They've done very well though in our small shed. There are some last marrows to pick. Then it is time to clear the plants from the bed. We need it for our elephant garlic. As you will remember, I planted the cochette plants in heaps of manure. I simply clear the old plants and weeds and spread the manure. A fresh bed is made. And I got a lot of green matter to turn back into soil on the compost heap. The beetroot have done well. A pity Tim doesn't like them. I love them pickled in vinegar. They last for months this way. And what a great colour! Let's have a look under the plastic. I think prolonged use of plastic isn't good for the soil, but a few weeks to kill off the greenery seems a worthwhile compromise. The weeds have rotted nicely and digging the soil is a pleasure. I'm going to put some onion sets in for early harvesting next spring.
the leeks have grown mightily. We'll enjoy those all winter long. Ex-Hurricane Ophelia hit Ireland in mid-October. We got winds up to force 11. Tim's catamaran was turned over in the yard and the roof over his bandsaw broke. Put him. Almost seems as if Ophelia was targeting you. But other than that, nothing major got damaged. A lot of leaves were blown off the trees, so it looks quite bare now. The next day after Ophelia, the sun shone and it was as calm as nothing ever happened. A wonderful gardening day. I spent it planting our ordinary garlic. A few days later though, the next autumn storm came along already. Hard to know what's around the corner these days. Stay safe out there everyone.